I can see all of them coming out and aren't they absolutely beautiful so you can see what I was talking about now with the difference with hyena they also have that straight back whereas hyena has a sloped back so I'm just going to turn around quickly so because we're right on the boundary and Shanae was very nice to have kept these wild dogs for us. I'm not going to block and impede her view and we'll just stand by on our side because the dogs are going to cross over I'm pretty sure into our area so we'll let her be able to see as well. It's the nice thing about being out here and working with these lodges is that you know they help us out a lot with being able to find sightings as we help them and so as long as we keep a, a nice sort of relationship between everybody it works quite well. Just got to make sure that I don't get in the way of Rex either but isn't that spectacular look they all out isn't that amazing now I'm so excited because we haven't I haven't seen dogs since November it's been a dog drought in my life and I am super 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 happy to see them and I believe a lot of you are too they are such cool animals and look at how they move I just love the way that they trot and like I was saying earlier this morning if we see little bounding white tails going through the bush then we should get excited and there we have it right now isn't that amazing now I'm just going to quickly go around and get in front of them looks like they're going to go towards Sydney's dam so I don't know how long we're actually going to have them for unfortunately but least we've got a glimpse which is exciting it's been a morning of tracks and tracking and a bit of frustration in the way that we've had to go round and round in circles and wait for these dogs to come back into our area so to actually finally have them on the road in front of us just like that is quite spectacular so really really happy to have found them and you can see they're having a little game they're chasing one another around there's another one coming here So, oh, Laura, you saying this is amazing, how many are there? I'm not 100% sure how many are in this pack. From a quick count, it looks like at least 12. Now, Brent will probably know a little bit more because Brent had them um, fairly recently and they were static and lying down and he was able to count them. So I'm not 100% sure, but this pack, there was 13 at a stage and I know one was killed, so it should be 12, I think, here. Um, let me just catch up with them and have a little count. But we have done an absolute full circle. So where I first found the tracks at the very start of game drive is exactly where we are now. So they've done a massive loop round. So all the driving I've done this morning, I could have just sat here and waited for an hour and they would have come to me, which would have been quite a lot easier. But at least we also know roughly now where Shadow is. Shadow's tracks are also around Arethusa. But like I said, it's just so dense and thick in there that it's difficult to follow. But you can see how quickly these dogs move. They just stop for one second and they're gone down the road. Isn't that incredible? Now this is a great opportunity for screenshots with a backlit dog. You can see the light just illuminating the edge of the dog. So all of you that are interested in the screenshots and look how they're watching. So they're busy hunting at the moment. They've got their heads up trying to look over the grass. And sometimes what you'll find is they'll even jump onto their back legs to be able to see. But isn't this incredible? There's actually more here. There's 14 that I can count now. So there's a, a few more. So just communicating with Rex as to who's gonna go first. Obviously, thanks very much, Rex. We've got guests that are on his vehicle and he's got some photographic guests that are very interested in taking lots of photos. So for them, this is super exciting to be able to have a chance to photograph wild dogs for them is amazing so just as it is for us it's nice to be able to give them a bit of space too like i was saying it looks like they're going to go towards sydney's dam now there's one dog that is sitting right here and look at that aren't they absolutely magnificent now i've heard people call them ugly i don't find them ugly at all i find them very 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 good to look at they're so interesting they've got all these markings they're very pretty animals i really really do like the wild dogs and isn't that spectacular so David you are asking about whether the dominant individuals stay in front like wolves well yes a lot of the time the alpha male and female will run in front and they'll be the ones that dictate which way the pack goes and that is probably the alpha dog in front there so he's often in the lead 
taking the pack around and moving them around to make sure that they stay safe. But it's quite nice that they've all of a sudden just stopped for us and allowed us now to catch our breaths a little bit. It's been all a bit frantic as they've been running around and coming in. And it's amazing how you sit there and you wait and there's nothing, nothing, nothing. And then they start appearing and then they're quickly moving across. So really nice that they've now just decided just to rest a little bit. Now, just checking because it seems like they're looking around. So I want to just see if there's any sign of... And I can actually see impalas way off in the distance towards Sydney's dam. So it looks like they're going to go that way. What we might see is a flurry of impalas running. But unfortunately, if they go that way, they're going to go out of our area. But there are impalas just on the horizon. I don't know if you can see them. Dave, just above the dogs. A little bit to your right. A little bit more. There they are. So there are the impalas. And now the dogs maybe have spotted those impalas. And that's where they're going to go and hunt now. Um, you'll find that they're all going to go into that area. And it's going to become just absolutely chaotic. They run into the herd. And there's no actual way that they will stalk like a cat will. These guys are just going to be frenetic. Everyone's going to run in. And they're going to chase into these impalas. And they're going to try and cause absolute confusion. Now for a long time it was believed that wild dogs will tag team in terms of one will run and then as they fatigue another one will take over and while it has happened in some cases generally that's not the way they hunt they generally all just go after a prey species and each one will chase its own impala and eventually they kind of chase impalas into one another and somebody grabs and that's that so it's quite amazing now unfortunately this area is not a great area for signals so we might have a few little breakups and black screens but while we see if we can try and keep visual with them. I'm going to go up a little bit so we have a much broader view of them and we can then watch if they chase. They'll hopefully then chase round back towards us. Just careful there, Dave. But isn't this exciting? Absolutely amazing. And it's there. It looks like we have a perfect view. Alright, so while we wait for the wild dog to get closer to the impalas, Jane, see how her snoozing leopard is doing. 